Week 19 already of the fantasy baseball season, and here's a few pitchers I look to drop this week. The first guy, Braxton Gavry of the Miami Marlins. So Braxton Gavry was having a pretty solid season here for the Marlins, but now he's out with an oblique strain. And obviously, we know that injury could take weeks or even months to heal on its own. So with the Marlins out of the race, obviously, one of the worst teams in the National League this season here. Braxton Gavry's obviously a guy that's not going to have any fantasy value this season. Maybe Dynasty and Keeper Leagues. You're going to want to keep him. But right now, redraft leagues, there's no reason to hold on to him. And I think his season definitely could be over with the Marlins out of it and not wanting to rush him back maybe for a couple starts at best on the season. 68 and two-thirds, two and six records, 66 hits, 28 runs, 17 walks, 71 strikeouts, four quality starts, a 3.67 ERA and a 1.21 whip here for Garrett. On the season. So the last few outings before he went down, August 2nd versus the Reds, five and two thirds got the loss. Three hits, two runs, two walks, 11 strikeouts. August 9th at Philly, four and two thirds got the loss. Eight hits, three runs, three Ks in that one. And August 14th versus the Braves, six innings, no decision. Five hits, three walks, two Ks, a quality start. So Garrett for the future, I think he could be a decent piece for this Marlin team. But this Marlin team has a ways to go to compete. In this division with two good teams like the Mets and the Atlanta Braves and even the Phillies for the most part have been pretty decent this season. But right now, Garrett, no reason to hold on to him. And he's a pitcher I would drop this week. The next guy is Paul Blackburn of the Oakland Athletics. So Blackburn, he had a pretty decent year and was off to a hot start early in the season. And now he came back down to earth before his season's been ended with a finger injury here is Blackburn. So the A's, we know they're out of it. We know they're looking at young guys to see what they got, and they traded all their best players since last offseason and at the trade deadline as well. So in the season here for Paul Blackburn, 111 in the third, 7-6 and six record he finished with, 110 hits, 53 earned runs, 30 walks, 89 strikeouts, 4 quality starts, a 4.2 ADRA and a 1.26 whip. So Blackburn, like I mentioned, the first 2-3 months of the year is when he was getting the job done, but over the last few weeks before he went out with injury, in August 4th, Blackburn. He was pitching mediocre baseball at best. July 24th versus Texas, four and a third got the loss. 10 hits, 10 runs, two walks, five Ks. July 30th at the White Sox, five innings in that one, no decision. Five hits, no runs, four Ks. And August 4th at the Angels, five innings got the win. Six hits, four runs, a walk, three Ks. So he was starting to struggle with Blackburn. And next season, he's a guy we'll look to target later in my fantasy drafts here. Obviously, going to have no value now and no reason to hold on to him and keep a leagues with Dynasty Leagues as well as Paul Blackburn. So right now, he's been dropped in tons of fantasy leagues. The guy that I think next season can help as long as, obviously, he's in the Oakland A's pitching staff. He could be a guy at the back end of your rotation and a guy you take towards the latter part of your fantasy drafts. Next guy is Sir Anthony Dominguez of the Philadelphia Phillies. So Sir Anthony Dominguez... He's been pretty decent closer for the Phillies this season. Then they traded for David Robertson. And now he's hurt as well. And he's surprisingly still owned in tons of fantasy leagues as Sir Anthony Dominguez. Once that trade went down, obviously for David Robertson, we figured Dominguez wouldn't be the closer, but still owned the 54% of fantasy leagues. And right now he's out with the tricep injury. And we'll see if he's going to be activated sooner than later. But even if he is, like I mentioned, he'll get a save occasionally here for this Philly team. The only way he really is going to have fantasy value, if Robertson goes down, obviously, and he takes over at the closer position. So on the season for Dominguez, 44 innings, 6-4 and four record, 9 saves, 26 hits, 8 earned runs, 14 walks, 54 strikeouts, and a blown save on the year with a 1.64 ERA. And an 0.91 whip. So this Philly bullpen at the back end is pretty solid. If you go Dominguez and Robertson as your 8th and ninth inning guys, obviously. So right now, for the Philly's sake and their playoff push, trying to lock up that third wild card. They're hoping Dominguez comes back sooner than later. But even if he does come back, there's no fantasy value for him if he's not getting saves. The next pitch is Cole Irvin of the Oakland Athletics. So Irvin, he got off to a good start for months of the season here but now teams are starting to hit him on the season 135 and a third six and 11 record 118 hits 50 earned runs 26 walks 87 k's 12 quality starts 3.23 era and a 1.06 whips so i know this division's weak besides the houston astros texas rangers are hit or miss angels they've been horrible for months now and mike trout has been out 
And right here, the Mavericks there hit a miss type offense, even though they are a solid team this season. So Cole Irvin, he's been pitching good, but over the last couple weeks here, he's starting to struggle. 12 innings, 0-2 record, 14 hits, 10 runs, 3 walks, 3 Ks, a 4.95 ERA, and a 1.10 whip. So right here, this A team, obviously, they're going to end the season horribly. And Cole Irvin's definitely gone the other way after pitching great for months on end. August 8th versus the Angels, 8 innings. Got the loss. Five hits, a run, a quality start. August 14th, the Houston, six innings, got the loss. Eight hits, five runs, a walk, a K in that one. And August 19th versus Seattle, six innings, got the loss. Six hits, five runs, two walks, two K. So maybe Irving is starting to hit the wall this season. Last year, I know he pitched 178 innings, and he's at 135 this season. But right now, he's going to start every fifth day still for this Oakland Athletic team. But with the A's with a bad team this season and not giving their starting pitchers a lot of run support and teams start to hit Irvin, I think so, this will be the time to drop him. Definitely, he could get things going again and be viable. But right now, he's been dropped in 5% of fantasy leagues. And he's a guy... I would drop this week, but you also could go back to him if he gets hot within the next few weeks of the season. And the fifth and final pitcher, I look to drop it's Ian Anderson of the Atlanta Braves. It's surprising to me, Ian Anderson stashed in all the leagues I'm in this season here. But he's just been an up-and-down pitcher, and I owned him in a few leagues early in the season. And he's just a guy that's a four- or five-inning pitcher. I was a big Ian Anderson guy coming into the season but obviously, he hasn't lived up to the expectations on the season. 111 and two-thirds, 10 and six record, 115 hits, 62 earned runs, 54 walks, 97 strikeouts, six quality starts, but a 5 ERA with a 1.51 whip. So right now, he's in AAA. Teams are still stashing him, owned in 43% of fantasy leagues. And his last outing was Friday in AAA. Only five and a third, yay, yeah, one scoreless. But he's a guy right now, the odd man out over there in Atlanta. You got Max Freed in that rotation. You got Spencer Strider, who's been great. Charlie Morton's turned things around over there in Atlanta. Jake Odorizzi, I know he hasn't been that good where I could see any Ian Anderson filling for him. But even Odorizzi pitched decent. I know it was a weak pirate team in yesterday's ball game. But he's just not the guy right now, is Ian Anderson. The last few outings for him... In the bigs, July 30th versus Arizona, six innings, got the win in that one. One hit, a walk, nine Ks, a quality start. August 5th at the Mets, four and two-thirds, seven hits, four runs, four walks, three Ks. And that was a ball game where the Braves got off to an 8 nothing start, and he couldn't even get to five innings. And then August 13th at a spot starter in a doubleheader at the Marlins, six innings, got the win, five hits, two runs, a walk, four Ks, a quality start. So Ian Anderson, I'll give him this. First, the bad teams, he's pitched well this season, but mediocre teams and great teams, he gets hit around, and he's a guy I just can't count on in a big spot, especially for the playoff push and especially for the playoffs here for fantasy baseball. So that's a few pitches I look to drop here for week 19 of the fantasy baseball season.